So Ravencoin launch has been successful and of course exciting from a GPU miner. You know, it's good to see that they implemented this Kapow um, new mining algorithm up up upgrade, you know, to bring back the GPU miners and eliminate the ASIC miners and FPGA miners from their network. And it's good to see that has been successful. And uh, especially these times are exciting because um, if you're a miner, you know, there's very little miners mining a new coin or new mining algorithm. And you can use that at your own advantage to gain the most mining profits. So I will show you now what I was getting from for the last 15 uh, hours of mining Ravencoin and what kind of settings and what miners did I use to mine the Ravencoin. So hit that like button now. Uh, hitting the like button doesn't cost you anything. It increases Ravencoin uh, Ravencoin hash rates on uh, on these GPUs while I'm mining. So if you want to see a bigger hash rates, hit that like button now. So this is my setup for mining Ravencoin on the new mining album Kapow. Um, so this is the same case what I did in my last video where I was testing a few different GPU models on stock settings on mini mining uh, Ravencoin with a new uh, Kapow mining algorithm. So this setup has the same case, um, riserless motherboard, 1650 watt power supply, and uh, and yeah. Uh, sorry about the noise, guys. There's nothing I can do. I will we'll reduce the noise uh, when I switch to the uh, web panel. But yeah, I'm I'm getting about 16 uh, mega hash averaging, about the same speed as I did testing on the stock settings, um, and it uses currently about. 1,150 watts from the wall uh, for seven card uh, mining rig. So basically what I noticed when I turned that on on the stock settings, it was using 1,750 watt and I managed to tune that down to reduce about 550, 600 watts uh, for all these GPUs from the wall. And uh, I was keeping about the same speed, uh, mining speed and even also increased. Um, so there was many guys saying that Kapow is very power hungry but you are possible to change that efficiency uh, you know with tuning up some settings or reducing power limit um, and and uh, the, the doing some overclocks on the memory you are possible also to even increase that mining speed so this is what I'm doing let's switching now to uh, high OS panel and we will see what kind of performance uh, we get and what what kind of settings I use to get set up use and start mining uh, as soon as possible because um, the profits are really great in the uh, in the in the first hours of the network switch so Ravencoin did implement the network upgrade yesterday to Kapow new mining algorithm which basically eliminates the ASIC miners and the FPJ miners uh, and it seems like it has been very successful you know because of the hash rate before the fork was about 34 terahash and now it's only three so 90 percent reduced uh, the total network hash rate what was uh mining a uh, raven coin so it's it's good to see it's good to see the gpu mining is coming back for raven coin you know why i'm so excited about the raven coin it is you know because it, it is a good coin you know it's quite still new but it is uh you know number 49 at coin market cup with a you know total mine uh, market cap is 131 million and you know the trading volume is being good 31 million you know and it's 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 steady and it's a, it's a good coin and yeah it's good to see that the gpu mining is back you know i used to mine you know when it only launched but you know after that when the aces came out uh you know it was impossible to be profitable with the gpus so i am mining it with seven um uh, 1080 GPUs as I showed you before averaging about 16 uh, 16 mega hash uh, 16 you, you can even push more with overclocking but I like to keep the graphics cards cool and use them less power you know because the, the power bill uh, here uh, is quite expensive um, so seven GPUs hashing you know I showed the same GPU in my uh, with the stock settings in my previous video it was you know nearly the same speeds, uh, 15, 15, 15 and a half uh, mega hashes, um, but it w was using a lot more power. So the profitability has been great, you know, as usual it is, you know, when, when a new coin launches or the 
Bitcoin changes a mining algorithm, you know, it's very, uh, very good to to start mining it, you know, because you can make the most of the profits in the first hours. And uh, so in 24 hours, I have mined uh, over 500 Raven coin, uh, which uh, equals to um, current Raven coin price. It is uh, 0 0.021. Um, so calculator. So about 530 Raven times 0 0.0214, about 11.3 US dollars, uh, you know, which is for 15 hours, uh, which is great. Um, you know, reminds me of about 2017 bull markets when the GPU mining rigs was making, you know, 30 bucks a day. Um, so yeah, it's good to see that we have a profitable coin. Uh, but yeah, the, the profit is slowing down and uh, because more of the more more of the miners see opportunity and uh, you know the profit will reach you know um close to zero of course uh, very soon uh, but yeah it's good to see that that you know there is profit to be made because you know in the first hour i made about a little bit over 300 raven coin you know and the rest of the four hours i made only 200 um but i was calculating you know this rig you know at the current raven coin prices you know it looks like it's been stable, you know, the uh, the payouts I was getting about, you know, about averaging about 10 uh, Raven coin every every hour. So it has stabilized a little bit. And, you know, that if you calculate by the current price, it's about five, six US dollars in 24 hours, which is not too bad also, uh, especially if there's, you know, very little coins to mine, which with a profit with, with the GPUs. Um, so. Uh, what I wanted also to show, I want to show you how to mine it, you know, uh, how to create a flight sheet in a Hive OS. And so basically you will need the wallet address. You can do that in Binance or you, do, you download, the, download the wallet from, you know, uh, from Ravencoin. Um, but yeah, you need the wallet address basically, you know, for easy setup, you know, you can use the Binance. Um, if you're, you know, you don't have too big mining farm, you know, a couple of rigs, you know, you won't be risking too much uh, creating a wallet on exchange. Uh, but so the flight sheet I am using um, to create. So basically, you have created a wallet, Ravencoin. So then you choose in uh, in uh, Hive OS, you play, choose flight sheets, you choose Ravencoin, you choose the wallet. Then you select the pool you want to mine. I'm uh, mining on Miner More. It will offer you to select um, um, servers you want to connect connect the closest so EU in Europe apply then choose the miner it offers you multiple different miner uh, softwares what to use uh, for mining Kapow um, I'm using NB miner and seems like it's been very successful uh, it has good efficiency rates it, you, it, it can be used on NVIDIA and AMD cards so you set up that you create flight sheet uh, name that's great great flight sheet that's it you know use the flight sheet on your miner simple as that you know a few clicks um, you, you can see I have been mining all the time you know it has been quite stable there was no reboots um, you know uh, very you know there's no I don't see any invalid shares or anything you know it's it, it was quite working quite perfectly another good thing is that you know there was very little coins to mine with the AMD cards uh, there was only you know that because they are very good on memory efficient as this is a memory efficient mining algorithm it's very good to see that you can use you know three gigabyte cards four gigabyte cards you know the ones which will um, eliminate it for from ethereum uh, very soon even the four gigabyte cards which is you know due to December 2020 uh, you will be able to mine this mining algorithm because you know Ravencoin is quite big and it, it has a lot of room to grow um, you know it has been at 10 cents uh, per coin in the in the in the in the, in the 2017 uh, 2018 so it's good to see that uh, there is possibilities um, where to use your AMD cards where it wasn't previous you know the, the the biggest coin you can mine was ethereum and ethereum classic but now there is also an option 
for Ravencoin. And hopefully the, 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 the fork has fixed the issues with the ASIC miners and FPGAs and they won't be coming back, back anymore to Ravencoin. And, uh, you know, the GPU mine, mining community will be mining um, um, Ravencoin. So the overclocks I was using uh, to reduce the power, as I said it before, uh, on the stock settings, it was using 1,700 watts. I managed to get down to 1,150. Um, so I was using I was using plus 50 core, uh, uh, plus 700 memory, and power limit at 135. I, I could get that speed more up. I I was getting 17, 18 uh, mega hashes. Uh, when the uh, I increase the power limit, but this also increases the power usage on the GPUs. They are running more hotter, and I, they are using a lot more power. Uh, which you know, if you have a free power or very cheap power, um, you know, it's maybe good, better to use more power to get more um, bigger hash rate, and bigger hash rate means more coins mined. So this is the the the, uh, the overclock settings I use in high voice. So mining profits on the Ravencoin are not going to be the same all the time. Uh, you know, they will keep changing. And, you know, as more miners see that, you know, Raven, mining Ravencoin is profitable, the network hash rate, of course, will increase. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's, it's been a very fun start. Uh, and, you know, it was as, as expected because uh, you, you can usually make uh, most of the coins in the first hours. I, I hope you did enjoy the video. So hit the like button if you did. And if you found value, share with your buddies. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Goodbye, goodbye. Mine hardcore or don't mine at all.